the journey of holiness and righteousness in the journey of the kingdoms there are certain things that you need to understand and you need to be aware listen to me there are certain rules you need to abide to make it to heaven number one thing is this you have to possess the fruit of the spirit the nine fruit of the spirit I have to completely possess if out of the nine fruit of the spirit one is missing you are not going to make it to heaven What I'm trying to say is that your holiness has to be within and without what you preach you have to practicalize it how many of you have overcome flesh how many of you have overcome lust how many of you have overcome the loss of the hands how many of you have overcome anger how many of you are able to say that true true you are an ambassador of Jesus Christ the dream you have yesterday doesn't qualify you to be a candidate of heaven having dreams are coming to pass is is not a qualifications god can use anyone a sinner a sinner have dreams and they come to pass look at the bible that the gift and talent you have the call of god upon your life does not actually qualify you to make it to hell God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel. Uh, by the special grace of God, I want to speak to you ministers of God and all the Christians around watching me right now. This message is for you if you are a believer in Christ. There are certain things that need to manifest in your life before you can be recognized as a child of God. Listen to me very, very well. I know what is in your mind is that you have the gift of seeing visions and having dreams and your dream come to pass that you are having dreams and your dream come to pass you are having visions and your visions are clear and you are seeing vision angels are meeting you in your dream that you have an encounter with jesus christ meeting you in your dream does not actually mean that you are even a candidate you can be used by god and yet not make it to heaven those people that jesus christ is talking about in matthew chapter 7 they are people that are typically used by god somebody who is bowed down for the devils cannot come and confront jesus that he used Jesus' name to cast out the devils no it's because he's so assured that he's serving god but listen to me he's serving god in heresy he's serving god in heroes listen to me there are certain rules you need to abide to make it to heaven number one thing is this you have to possess the fruit of the spirit in galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23 talks about the five fruit the ninth fruit of the holy spirit which as a tide of god you need to possess it if you don't possess it it means you are on your way to hell listen to me holiness is not but just by mouth but it's a relationship the what you are in the secret is what actually commands you to choose to, whether you are truly tired of God or not. It's not what you are preaching. Everybody can be a good preacher, but follow them at home. What are they at home? The nine fruit of the spirit have to completely possess. If out of the nine fruit of the spirit one is missing, you are not going to make it to heaven. What I'm trying to say is that your holiness has to be within and without what you preach you have to practicalize it how many of you have overcome flesh how many of you have overcome lust how many of you have overcome the loss of the hands how many of you have overcome anger how many of you are able to say that true true you are an ambassador of jesus christ the dream you have yesterday doesn't qualify you to be a candidate of heaven having dreams are coming to pass is is not a qualifications god can use anyone a sinner a, a sinner have dreams and they come to pass look at the bible nebuch nebuchadnezzar a king in babylon 
He has dreams. God showing revelations and they come to pass. Far out had dreams and revelations and come to pass. Which means that you can have revelations and yet come to pass. That doesn't mean you are a real servant of God. That doesn't mean you are a child of God. Sinners do have it. Even the abalis, they have dreams and their dreams come to pass. That you have visions doesn't mean that you are a child of God. Everyone can be talented. Anyone can be talented. Be careful because talents and gifts always send people to hell. Most of the ministers that are born in hell now is because of their talent. Because they believe that if God can be showing them this revelation and it's coming to pass, it means they are recognized in heaven. And this is a deception from the, from the pit of hell. You can be gifted in precepts. You can be gifted in receiving revelations and yet end up in hell. I pray in the name of Jesus that your life will glorify God. Shalom.